All right, welcome back. What we're gonna be doing today is gonna do a head swap, but the new and modern easy way using Blender instead of PMXC. What we're gonna be doing is grabbing J model from Genshin and doing a head swap to a new body. Let's move her here. Switch that keyframe, and we're gonna be swapping this body, and she has fish discs and all into this body, which was a, a request by someone who just joined Discord. And we're gonna be putting her in this body now. It put her side to side one issue that you will have is the textures do not match right so you're gonna have to do that in the uh, image editor and that's not gonna be covered in this image or in this uh, video nor am I gonna do any of the special tweaking we're gonna fill in the holes if you were on something precise you're gonna do that yourself in a separate location okay so let me register there all right so the new model is gonna be here once we're done with her let's go into blender so make a new scene in blender right, let's go and find the mmd tools with the unia add-on enabled so within the tools, let's import our model. Let's find our model. First of all, you're gonna put uh, Jade. And if you have selected a collection, the imported model is gonna be populated in that one collection. So do not mess with your scale. That's, leave it as is, let's import. Let's have Blender do its little work in the background as she's importing the model and there she is let's select our new collection and let's bring in our next model she's gonna be urban lady let's do import wait for blender to do its little work and then we are gonna be using the and in the um, unions, uh, much, uh, here we go, model surgery, which is, is perfect name for it. All right, so the model is imported here now. So this is gonna be our m main work. So let's turn off our Jade model. Let's turn off the checkbox and she goes away for a little while. Select your bones. Press, make sure they're orange. Press Control Tab or go up here and go to Post Mode. All right. So in surgery, you can remove any part of the body that you want. How this works is it grabs the bone selected and anything that's weighted to that bone, so weight painted, it's gonna come with it. And it's going to be separated as a uh, different piece. So if you want to uh, remove skirts or anything else, this works the same way. So just grab, for instance, the skirt. Just grab the waist. Yeah. Okay, so the waist will be that one. And just chop that off. And then just delete whatever you don't want. So it's move her into a position now let's do what we came here for just the head so let's grab the head and you just want the head bone all right so just grab that one make sure everything is going to come with it come over here to your end panel and find the surgery model surgery and just press chop whatever you have selected it's going to be separated in its own object I mean, it's on model selection. So once it did its work in its background, it created a new empty 
with that on so here you can save it do that i don't need it so i'm just gonna delete it and i'm gonna do delete here is the i cannot pronounce this part all right so that is we have our body let's go and turn this one off and this one on the one thing that i really despise is that if you do the full shot off once you bring everything back the rigid bodies and joints pop in uh to get rid of them or to hide them any tools rigid bodies toggle one off and on off so double press them again once again here select your bones if you haven't yet press control tab to go to post mode select our model head which we want to keep come over here and let's press chop we have now separated our head from our body i don't need the body so i'm just going to delete it so go over here select the empty which is that one press uh, right click on it and delete her see this will delete anything that is a child of that uh, item so there we go that is now gone scroll the way up okay and go to our collection that we hit once again hide those huge bodies joints we don't need them select our head empty go to front view by pressing one you can uh, non-pad zoom in and g set put her head roughly exactly when you want her to be so press side and wide gonna go in there and try not to move her on the x value since that will kind of screw up any uh, mirror modifiers you might do later on and inflect future edits just move her up and down or forward and back okay so there's the head i'm gonna go slightly below it now here you can now merge the uh, faces add new structures to it like fix up your face and then you have a nice clean without a big asshole which i'm going to leave this model as is all right so now you have that and that select both your uh, bones from the head and the uh, body so select one set of bones and shift select your body's bones go to control uh, go to post mode by control tab select your head bone and shift select your neck bone all right so you rotate and it goes like this and you can see they're not linked because you want the neck and moving the head now you want to merge them together by coming over here and instead of chop we're gonna press joint this is gonna parent the bone into this one and also it's going to bring all the rigid bodies and the joints without any losing any data which is freaking great so you just press that button and you want to keep it nice keep opposite if they're not exactly connected together exactly what you want you can have the option but which keeps connected but this will snap the little head to the uh, tailbone the head bone to the other and this might uh they keep connected might screw up your uh motion since you have a new pivot so I uh, will just recommend this just to keep it the standard keep opposite like it will save you a bunch of uh, issues 
this press ok and if this works she is now one full piece so let's go to our empty so empty grabs at all let's grab our bones select our torso and the head comes with it which is great let's grab our neck bone and she comes with it okay so one thing I kind of forgot to pass is we want to clean up the model just a tiny little bit so all the textures from the uh, models face from the original one are still here we don't want them anymore or any uh, redundant textures so select our original uh, body and remove and use the data slots this is gonna remove any which is here it tells me it removes 70 uh, 27 uh, slots so it's 27 textures that no longer are gonna be linked into this body and do the same thing to the head which is all these textures and let's only keep what it's in he only got rid of eight which it wasn't that many here you are ready to export your model so grab your empty there's another empty here okay so grab your empty the one that has the full control which is going to be the one that says there and now let's export our model come over here to your in the settings press export find where we have our model and you can export her anywhere you want i will prefer to put her on a new folder export that way you have a clean uh, file organization of folders and it's not missing any links so j new body keep your scale the regular and hopefully you didn't mess your import and do the export that's going to be working on the background and let's come over here and okay so you now in finish new export let's open up mmd again and let's see if it works and she it gets imported well let's move her really hate that center bone all right physics seems okay let's see if we have her working in an emission so let me pour a motion Okay, that worked. Okay, I don't think that was a machine. Let me find a new one. Okay, let's go with this one. All right, so that one seems to actually took in. Oh, great. I put it way past the line. Let me delete that one. Let me go to frame one. And drop it again. My mistake. First play. And now 
there we go and as you can see we didn't fix any of the textures and we have those two texture graphs so be aware of that but we have our model working so we came from jade to this new body we have a model and with this i'm going to be calling it a video Catch you guys next time. <laughs> Leaders.